Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum, my dear student. Uh, today topic uh, is a uh, cellular organization. So this is uh, lecture number six of unit number one. So uh, let's start cellular organization. What is cellular organization? In the living organism, the cell organize in three ways to make body of organisms. Cell make unicellular, colonial, multicellular organization and these organisms form through uh, these organization are called unicellular organism, colonial organism and multicellular organism respectively. So first of all unicellular organization that what is unicellular organization. In unicellular organization, their body is composed of only one cell. So only one cell make the life of the organism. Inside this single cell, all vital process is carried out by different cell organelle in the division of labor. Division of labor means that each cell organelle is assigned different function and they coordinate with each other. For example, a respiration that is in mitochondria, they can also reproduce, they can also excrete. So all these vital process, they take pl place inside this single cell and they exist in nature as a single cell. So such kind of organization, single cell organization is called unicellular organization. So unicellular organism example are amoeba, euglena and chlamydomonas. So these are unicellular organism. This is Euglena, Chlamydomonas, and Amoeba, and you will uh, see it under microscope only in your practical. Uh, the next organization that is colonial organization. Colonial organization in such kind of organization, the individual cells combine with each other but they do not form tissue. Keep in mind they, learn, they combine living together but not in the form of tissue and they form a colony and such kind of organization is called colonial organization. If these cells of the colony separate from each other so they cannot survive. Why? Because the colony cells depends on each other for the life. So there are uh, examples and uh, one of the example that is given in your book for colonial organization that is wall walks. So wall walk that is a green algae and this is a uh, uh, sorry uh, uh, it is a written a unicellular it is, it is unicellular organization. So this is unicellular organization wall walks. It is found in water and pond and water. So you can see here in this diagram. So wall walk cells combine and form a small colony. So this is in this diagram, this is a small colonies. And these small colonies combine a form a bigger colonies. In this colony, different cells are assigned different duties. For example, for some of the cell there are mobility. So they will move the colony from one place to another place because they have flagella. Other cell of the colony they will be responsible for the reproduction. Some of the cell that will be uh, responsible for photosynthesis to produce food for the colony. So there is the division of labor of the diff in different cell of the colony. But these cells are not combined in the form of tissue. So this was about the colonial organization. The next uh, organization is multicellular organization. In multicellular organization, the cell combine form tissue and the tissue then combine form organ and the organ then combine form the organ system and then different organ system coordinate with each other and form an organism and that organism is called multicellular organism and such kind of organization is called multicellular organization. Two example of multicellular organism are given in your book. 
dead is uh, one from the plant and other from the animal. From the plant dead is called mustard plant. Uh, their scientific name, botanical name is Brassica campestris. How the scientific name is given that is chapter number 2 or 3, sorry that is in the 3 in detail. There are rules for scientific word. Mustard in Urdu uh, the word is used that is sarso and pasho this is also called sharsham. So uh, their uh, sowing uh, season that is uh, in winter uh, and produce seed at the end of the winter. Their importance, uh, they, their tender parts, their tender leaves, they are used as a vegetable and its seed are used for extracting oil. So the body parts, uh, there are uh, two body parts of uh, the plant, vegetative parts. Vegetative parts are those parts of the uh, mustard plant, they do not take place in the sexual reproduction. These parts are root, stem and branches and leaves and the productive part are those part of the plant body or mustard plant body which take a part in the sexual reproduction and these are the uh, uh, flower and then a flower produce uh, fruit and seeds. Uh, so this is a, a diagram of uh, original uh, mustard plant these are the flower and this is the stem these are the branches these are the leaves. So, this is the vegetative plot and this flower there is the reproductive part. Uh, uh, the animal example of multicellular organization that is frog that is in your book. So, the scientific name is Arana tegrena. So, there is also multicellular organization. There are organ tissue and these tissue are epithelial, glandular, muscular, nervous tissue. This tissue form the organ like uh, digestive system, digestive system there is oral cavity, esophagus, stomach, uh, intestine etcetera, digestive system, these system uh, then combine and form uh, full organism. So, different system like digestive system, respiratory system, blood circulatory system, nervous system, reproductive system, all these system then coordinate with each other and form a full organism and that organism is called multicellular organism and such kind of organization is called multicellular organization. So, this was an example from the frog and this is the diagram of the frog of Rana tegrena species. Uh, so, uh, this is the end of uh, uh, chapter number 1. Uh, uh, please uh, note that uh, there is a topic five kingdom system. Ye men skip kar liya hai five kingdom system. Ye is wajah se men skip kar liya hai ki ye book mein galti se ono ne is topic ko idhar diya hai. Ye topic actually chapter number three, jo unit number three hai, ye usse related hai. To waha pe isko ham ziyada explain karenge. Is dar jo hai ye apko samaj nahi aayega. Ye us chapter se hai. तो उस चैप्टर में हम उसको एक्सप्लेन करेंगे दूसरी ये चीज है कि इस चैप्टर में होली कुरान से कुरान मजीद से कुछ वर्सेस है अबाउट साइंस तो वो इंशाल्लाह आपको हमारे जो रिलीजियस अफेयर के जो इंचार्ज है मुफ्ती शेख यूलक साहब वो लेक्चर आपको देंगे और वो हम अपलोड करेंगे सेम 9 बायोलॉजी के साइट पे तो वो फिर आप गौर से सुन ले अब आखिर में आते हैं एक्सरसाइज पे तो इस आपने घर में जाके आपके साथ मेरे लेक्चर भी होंगे सही है सारे लेक्चर को टॉपिक को टॉपिक वाइज से गौर से सुनना है आपके साथ बुक भी है बुक भी होगा और आपको नोट्स भी प्रोवाइड होंगे स्कूल की तरफ से जो मैंने खुद लेके हैं और टाइप भी किए हैं तो ये एक्सरसाइज पर आप एट द एंड करेंगे सारे MCQs जो है आपने खुद अटेम्प्ट करने हैं ठीक है और फिर इसके जो शॉर्ट क्वेश्चन है वो भी आपने अटेम्प्ट करने हैं और उस पे आपने प्रैक्टिस करनी है और फिर आपने उसको नोटबुक में भी उसको लिखना है सो दिस वाज द एंड ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर 1 एंड दैट वाज लेक्चर नंबर 6 लास्ट थैंक यू सो मच